ARBA's Worldwide Infrastructure Security Report is um, a really useful repository of information about what's going on out there and the threats and concerns that people have about their network and data security and also what they're doing about those threats and concerns. I think the Infrastructure Security Report has evolved um, significantly over the last 10 years um, and it's become an even more useful repository of information about what's going on out there and the threats and concerns that people have about their network and data security. On the one hand, um, we're asking a much broader set of questions about what's going on out there and there's far more information within the report itself. And on the other hand, um, we're getting responses from a broader range of organisations out there which again gives us better visibility into what's um, actually happening. We now ask questions, for example, on specific areas of people's networks, their data centres, their mobile packet cores. And we also ask questions about specific technologies such as IPv6. In terms of uh, the number of respondents that we get, that's grown from 36 10 years ago to 220 for last year's um, report, uh, the ninth iteration of the Infrastructure Security Report. One thing that stayed the same though is that the majority of those respondents are service providers, although we are now seeing strong growth in the proportion of enterprises who are looking to participate.